What's up, everybody? It's your man, C. Mill. C from the D coming at you with everything that's real. How you doing today? How you doing today? I would like to talk to you about why does the narc want to project that you are the bad guy? Why does the narc want to present you as the bad guy? The narcissist wants to present you as the bad person because it's called self-projection. They already know that they the bad person. But they know with all the deeds and the bad stuff that they doing, sooner or later, they going to get called out on it. <clears throat> and everything that they doing is leading up to somebody saying it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So to project, to get the attention off of them, and to make all this mayhem happen over here away from them, pointing to somebody else, that's what they want. That's what they want. The person that they hate the most, the person that they are mad at the most because they're not like them because they wanted you to follow in their footsteps or just go against you, period, because you weren't like you wasn't like them. They want to project it onto you. Because first off, they already know psychologically, and that spirit knows that it's so unbelievable to people gonna believe it. You know what I'm saying? That's how human nature works. That's how that's how people's mind work. You know what I'm saying? Him, her, you know what I'm saying? No. Yeah, they did this, they did that. That's what the narc has done. The narc has went and deceived everybody around. The whole neighborhood, the family, your friends, people at the job, whatever. They have manipulated everybody in a tactful manner. You know what I'm saying? Very skillfully, they have manipulated all around you. You know what I'm saying? They tried to manipulate you. You know what I'm saying? But the narcissists, all the stuff that they project projected, that they told everybody that you did, is exactly what they have done. You know what I'm saying? The betrayal... You know what I'm saying? Sleeping with people that they shouldn't have slept with. Sleeping with the same sex. Yeah, they do that. They do that. Most of the narcissists, mostly all of them are gay. You know what I'm saying? The women have slept with women and the men have slept with men. They don't want it. They're not ever going to tell it or they don't want it to be out there. But yeah, it's real. It's real. But they'll project that on to you like you did that. <laughs> it's, it's so funny, man. It's very funny. They will convince people all up and down that that's you, that that's, that that's your nature. But it's really their nature. You know what I'm saying? The diabolical things that they have done, the disgraceful things that they have done, they feel some type of way about it and they feel some guilt about it. But they don't want to take responsibility for it. I'm going to put it on them. I'm going to put it on him. I'm going to put it on her. You know what I'm saying? You know? It's called... Um, just, uh, what is it called? Reflect, reflection. Or uh, what is it called? I can't think of it right now. Excuse me, y'all. Because it's so funny. Because I'm thinking about so much stuff rushing through my head right now. Because I can't believe... That somebody will go this far, you know what I'm saying? To like stuff that they know that they have done, that they're guilty of, they'll project it onto somebody else. Man, come on, man! Stop the press, man! Stop playing, man! It's funny than a mug, man. But that's what the narcs does is uh, self-reflection. You know what I'm saying? But it's called something else. It's when they reflect on themselves and they know what they done, but they reflect they. They uh, they are imposing that you are the guilty party. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's funny than a mug, man. But it is funny that because it's people that I know that's doing it. You know what I'm saying? And like got everybody riled up and everybody believing them. You know, even though I know it's situations that you know about the narc that are unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? And the narc, you know, they just want to just try to project this 
self-projection. That's the name of it. They want to project it on to you or on to, on to somebody else because they don't want to hold that weight down on them or they don't want nobody to know that they did it. So before you come out and say your piece about it, they're going to project it onto you like you the guilty party. So when you come out and say, oh, he did this or she did that, they already put it out there that you did it. It's a simple mind trick, man, I'm telling you. It's worthless, though, but a lot of people are buying to it. But come on, it's the ones that's trying to prove that they the hardest, that's really the gayest. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I don't mean it in a derogatory state, trying to offend anybody else, any communities or nothing, you know? You know what I'm saying? If that's what you are, that's what you are. But, you know what I'm saying? We know people as far as dealing with narcs, everybody that's watching this channel, that has went to war with a narc and the narc has tried to project some type of foul play on you. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But they the ones that did it. They carried it out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? They want to depict you as the bad person so that they can get all the attention off of them because they are the guilty party. You know what I'm saying? Those spirits in there. Because, like, you know, like, you know, when a kid, when they do something that they know they shouldn't have done, and they blame it on another kid, it's the same mentality. It's the same mindset, man. It's the same mindset. That's why they tell you, like, nar narcissists are very immature. Narcissists do not want to take responsibility for their actions. You know what I'm saying? They, it's a stage that they say that narcissists miss in the maturing process, in the growing up process. It's a stage that they missed, and so they never matured. You know what I'm saying? They never took the brunt of whatever they were supposed to take at that moment to help them mature. They 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 skipped over it somehow. You know what I'm saying? So mentally, they are just distorted. You know what I'm saying? And lost along with the spirits that's on them. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, they don't they don't take responsibility. So yeah, all the bad stuff that you and a lot of people know that. The narcissist has done like how could somebody that's listening that's part of the co col family children of the light we we don't operate like that like come on man come on man despite of whatever the narc saying man i can't believe there's people out there that's listening to the narc that's really buying into it i put that on everything i know and love man the narc is not to be trusted man they project anything on anybody, man. One narc tried to get another uh, good family member of mine and turn their car in so they don't look bad. Another narc tried to project some other bad stuff on somebody else that I know for a fact that they did so they don't look bad. And they trying to project it on somebody else. I, I got situations on top of situations, man. That's just ridiculous, man. You know what I'm saying? And they, But they want to go against you. And try to paint the bad guy thing on you or that you like mentally destruct. Ain't that funny though? But it's all coming to a head for you. Don't worry, man. Just keep praying and keep staying in the light. You know what I'm saying? And keep the faith. You know what I'm saying? If you want to hey, bust them out, bust them out on it. You know what I'm saying? Speak your peace. Because the truth always going to come to the top. The truth always going to come to the light. You know what I'm saying? So... Don't worry about it and don't fret. But if you want to speak your peace, speak your peace. Hey, tell it like it is, man, for real. In the name of Jesus Christ, man, you know. So, this is your man C. Mill. Thank you for tuning in. It is a wonderful day, y'all. I am not going to lie. It's like 85 degrees here in Detroit. It is very, very nice out. I'm talking about very nice out. So I hope it's nice where you at, where you reside, in your neighborhood, in your city, in your state, or in your country. And once again, man, always give all the praises due to Allah. Praises to Jesus Christ. Praises to the Holy Spirit. Don't forget to tell yourself that you love yourself. And just stay in a good mindset. Stay in positive energy. And stay in the grounds of the royal kingdom of God. And you will be all right. In the name of Jesus Christ, man. God bless all of you. 
I wish you all a good night. And I, I see y'all on the next one, man. Y'all have a blessed one, man. Stay safe and stay blessed, man. Peace, man.